Oh, I got coronavirus. Two. Oh, yes, Dr. Patrick. We have a special treatment for you. <laughs> Wait! Oh, this doesn't seem right! Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Cody. The guy you see on screen is Eli, and today we have another big collection from our vending machine business. This includes two coin pushers that absolutely kill it, as well as one of our claw machines, full line machines, and bulk vending machines, so a little bit of everything. First up, we are here at Walmart, gloves on and ready to go. Although our machine is looking low on candy, we actually didn't fill it last time uh, we were here, so it may or may not be loaded. Let's find out, but first we are going to get some peanut M&Ms going on. So let's go ahead and lock that top. It is nice and good to go. And we are just going to go ahead and check that one mech there. It was looking a little funny. And let's open the back and ooh. We are looking a little thin on this one, not fat guys. Uh, we're looking at 1950 for two weeks and that is uh, like half of what this spot normally does. However, with this coronavirus pandemic in effect, we can't complain about $40 a month. Uh, we're lucky to have this spot so we will take what we can get. Just keeping her clean, keeping her looking good and we are out the door. Next up we have one of our combo machines that we got a call to refill Mountain Dew and Sunkist. Uh, it's a hardware store and we were surprised that they were even open during uh, all this coronavirus or COVID-19, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but it's actually looking low on snacks too. Now this isn't a really snacky kind of place so we were kind of shocked when we saw that went back and we got her looking good now but look at these Mountain Dews they are in the wrong position I'm gonna go ahead and fill them up we've also seen people in our Facebook group uh, the vending revolution landing new locations during this coronavirus pandemic so anything is possible and guys if you want to learn more about starting your own vending machine business check out our new website that is vendingstartup.com where we have free guides, tools, videos, and more all in one place to help you get started in vending. And if you guys have any suggestions or anything you want to see, something that we're missing that you need uh, to start, let us know. We would love to help you out in any way possible. But look at me going. I am really filling up this machine. Now let's check out these quarters. And we are looking a little thin on quarters. That is uh, pretty common. Watch me dump these quarters in there like a rookie. Uh, dropped a few on the ground. I'm not used to this kind of thing, guys. You know me. I hold the camera. That's me. I get on the mic and I do my thing. But I'm doing my very best, so bear with me. Let's go ahead and check out this magazine. And it is looking good. That is what we want to see. Now I'm going to try to count the money holding the magazine, no good, but uh, the machine performed pretty well. The combo machine made $121.75 including card sales for two weeks, which is low for this spot, but again, we're just lucky to have these locations open at all. Next up, we are here at the claw machine at our laundry mat location that is actually looking pretty low on toys so it must have made some money so let's go ahead we got the scale out uh, we got uh, some things in the works and boom just like that we got the machine filled up with plush and we are looking good there's the Patrick from the opening I love that one uh, Eli absolutely killed it on that let's go ahead and lock the doors we got that double unlock action going on and we will make our way down to the bottom and let's see what these quarters did of course you know we got the double lock action going on down below as well let's get that pedal lock off there and let's stick the key in the keyhole and pull out that drawer and boom guys just like that that is what I want to see. Let's go ahead and dump these quarters in, see what we got. And we're looking at 7850 
from the quarters in the claw machine. That is very nice. That's what I like to see. I'm gonna go ahead and lock her up. I am very interested to see what is in the DBA. How do you guys think it performed with all of this uh, COVID-19 going around? I don't know. Let's open her up and boom, guys. We are looking at 78.50 and quarters. You guys saw that in $37 in cash for a total of 115.50 for the month. We'll take it considering all that's going on. Usually, you know, it would be more than that, but you know, it is what it is. Throw that money on there. Let's slow it down a little bit and appreciate it. And up next, we are here. This is the grand finale. And first up is our coin pusher at our gas station location which honestly I uh, didn't know how well it was going to perform but let's go ahead and check it out I will go ahead and unlock the machine still trying to get a, uh, a hang of unlocking these machines you know I don't usually do this opening doors and boom guys That is what I'm talking about. I did not expect that at all. Eli was in awe. Absolutely crazy. Eli couldn't help himself. Had to dig in there a little bit. We got some spillage action going on. That is very nice. So Eli just got the rest of the quarters out. We are nice and clean on the inside. Let's dump it into the quarter counter and see how it did. Because the scale never lies. Let's dump it in and guys never chase waterfalls unless it's a waterfall of quarters and just look at all of that there was a penny in there but we're looking at 354.50 in three weeks crazy i guess they aren't worried about corona and touching all over this machine however i mean we do our very best at cleaning we really do so maybe they see that and they appreciate it uh, but let's go ahead and move on to our grocery store location that we are going to service the toy rack and the claw uh, or the coin pusher, excuse me. So Eli is going to take out the gumballs in the toy rack. And boom, guys, that is awesome. We got some pennies in there, but that's no big deal. We will pick those out. And we will slide that drawer back in. I'm sorry I couldn't get behind there. The The whole grocery store was crazy and everybody was in there shopping. But we're going to go ahead and move on to the center. Slide that out and absolutely killed it. Very nice. Let's dump those into the pouch. That's what I like to see. Very, very nice. And just just great it absolutely killed it again that's what i'm talking about and we will slide it back in let's get a uh that's what i'm talking about counter going on i feel like i've said that quite a few times but it's exciting it's exciting and uh i don't know what else to say okay <laughs> let's go ahead now and take off the two tops and they didn't do uh as hot but they are a little bit more expensive up there so I think that has a lot to do with it. Plus little uh, kids or, you know, they're shorter. Uh, they're height challenged at that age. So they can't reach up that high and parents have to help and all of that. So it's not as accessible. So let's go ahead and lock the top there and move on to these animal yo-yo stretchy fun little looking crazy guys. And fold that down. See how she did not bad that's not bad uh, I will take it and Eli will dump all of those into the pouch we're looking good take a look at that very nice but the toy rack absolutely killed it as you guys saw for this month we are looking at 202.25 very crazy I mean that is that's awesome that's what I like to see all right let's take the lock off the coin pusher and boom guys that is magic that is absolutely crazy I actually had a couple behind me and they were talking to me about the coin pushers and they were all interested and they never saw somebody service one of these before and they were just mind blown 
uh, seeing it in person, but we have all kinds of spillage going on. So we're going to go ahead and scoop all those out. And just like that, with a little bit of uh, editing magic, uh, Eli is just picking out a couple. But uh, would you have it? Uh, Eli is going to drop a few. So there's a dollar uh, less than there's supposed to be. How much do you guys think is going to be in this? We're already at 400, 500, 600. Oh my god, 658.25. Remember, we did drop a dollar, but this is for the month. Can't complain at all. Coin pushers are still actively making money around here, around our neck of the woods. They're still doing great. That makes our today's total at $1,270. We love it. Now, stay safe out there, guys. Do what you can. I know it's hard out there right now, uh, but we will see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.